What's good, my powerful people? Back at y'all another video. And before we hop into the topic, make sure you drop a sub down below, drop a like on the video, and follow me on all my socials. Links gonna be in the description. Now today we're gonna talk about the real reason that you can't get a girlfriend. I'm gonna be straight up with you in this video. This is the honest truth about why you just simply can't get the woman that you want, the woman that you want. It's simply because, bro, it's a couple of things, really. It's your focal point. Because you focus too heavily on why women don't like me, why I can't get no women. You see what I'm saying? You take in the issue and you externally directing it. And that's where you directed it. Instead of looking at it's, it's yourself and realizing that it's your lack of improvement, it's your lack of achievement, it's your mindset, it's your actions, it's your habits. Instead of putting the blame on yourself, you'd be like, man, why women don't want me or this or whatever excuse that you're making, it really don't matter because at the end of the day, it's all an excuse. Two words that you just need to understand that need to just be in your mindset 24 7, 365, from the point you wake up to the point you go to sleep is self improvement. Because you gotta look at yourself in the mirror and then you gotta look at the caliber of women that you want and you gotta really be honest with yourself when you ask yourself, would she like me? Would she take me serious? Really ask yourself that. Like, how do you look when you, you know what I'm saying? How do you look when you look in the mirror? What type of life do you live? What do you have going for yourself? Are you the average man? Are you replaceable just like everybody else? Are you just a casual employee with no extraordinary goals, no ambition, no drive, no desire to be somebody in life. Is that the type of person that you are? If it is, why on earth are you sitting up here asking about why women don't like me? Or why I can't get a girl? That's the last thing that should be on your mind. Understand that you gotta look at things like this because you can take this way beyond women. You can take this with getting or attracting anything that you want in your life. <clears throat> You have to look at what you want and just analyze the person that you have to be to get what you want. Everything about you has to match what you want. So if you want this high quality, loyal, feminine, submissive, valuable woman in your life to be your partner, how on earth can that be possible if you are the average man? You're not on your grind. You don't get to the bag. You have a negative mindset. You know what I'm saying? If you have all these negative characteristics and habits about yourself, what makes you think that you're going to get the girl, a girl like that, a girl that you really want, let alone a girl that's on that level that's really going to hold you down, take you serious, be loyal to you, add value to you? How can that even be possible? You know what I'm saying? I was seen a TikTok earlier, and it was like, your, mind, your money going to match your mindset. It was like a dude... A billionaire, a dude that's like worth like $2 billion, right? He could lose it all and then he could, he could have like 100000 He instantly going to be thinking about how to get that 100000 right back to that billion because he already got there, right? So he going to be working his way. He already know what to do. So it ain't going to take him that long to get it. That's why people who are rich, if they go broke, they bounce it back. How many people went bankrupt, but now it's like they worth more than when they went bankrupt, right? But the same, the, he, he gave another analogy and it's like, you could give a dude that same hundred thousand dollars, but his mindset stuck on ten bands a month. So his lifestyle, his habits, etc., gonna depreciate that money back down to that ten thousand a month. Same thing with these women, bro. If you this average type of dude, got nothing going for yourself, and you somehow are able to attract a higher quality woman, slowly but sure, it's not gonna last. I'm gonna just keep it a stack with you. It's not gonna last. So slowly but surely, everything is going to fall out of whack. Everything going to fall out of line and it's not going to work. And you're going to have to be left with these women that's on your level. You got to understand because self-awareness is the key. If you don't know who you are, if you don't know where you stand in life, then you're going to have unrealistic expectations. You got to understand that if you don't wake up and get to your grind every single day, if you don't get your mind right, take control of your mind, if you don't think that, look, I got to get myself out of my current situation, I got to create a life for myself, I got to get to the money, etc. If you just don't simply wake up with the ambition and the desire to change your current situation into something better, why on earth are you thinking about a woman? 
It literally don't make sense. The focus is backwards. <clears throat> you have to be putting in daily work in your own life so she can see that you grind it. She can see that you improve it. Like, what do you have that's going to attract her? And then, okay, if you can attract her, what do you have that's going to keep her around? Because most of y'all, all y'all worried about is digging around. Okay, what's next? Because you're going to want to keep her around. You ain't going to be able to dig her out forever because eventually she's going to ask you what's next or where is this going? But what are we? You know what I'm if she really attracted to you like that, you ain't going to be able to just dig her out forever. So what do you have in your life? What type of person are you that's going to be able to just keep this woman around? What type of characteristics do you have that make you a candidate to be a high value woman's boyfriend for a partner or whatever? You know what I'm saying, bro? Because <laughs> most, most men is just like, bro, it's so hard to look in the mirror. You don't want to be told nothing about yourself. You're convincing yourself that you're really doing more than what you're doing. You're convincing yourself that you're more high value than what you really are. It's all a facade. It's all you. It's mental battles, mind manipulation with yourself. The moment that you snap back into reality, bro, you're going to see everything for what it is. The moment you take the red pill and wake up, you're going to see everything for what it is. The moment you stop putting your focus on women and put your focus on your own grind, your own success, you're going to realize that, bro, the women, they were, always, they were already here the entire time. It's just the fact that you didn't do enough in your own life to be able to be able to see these women, to be able to attract these women. You know what I'm saying? It's something that you did. So it's not the fact that why they don't want me or why I'm not attracting women. It's your fault. You ask those questions all day, but at the end of the day, you're going to be directed right back to you. Something that you're doing or something that you're not doing. So what you need to understand and realize is this, bro. <clears throat> Anything you want in life, a woman, some money, a car, you know what I'm saying? I don't really care what it is. Anything you want in life, anything that you want to attract, add into your lifestyle, you have to make sure that you are in alignment with that thing. Your mindset has to be in alignment with it. If you have a scarcity, blue pill, simped out mentality, just don't even get to thinking about high value, loyal, submissive women that's gonna hold you down. That, that can't coexist, bro. It doesn't coexist. That's literally like saying you have a $10,000 a month mindset but you think that you finna be making a hundred bands a month. It doesn't coexist. Your actions, your mindset, your habits have to match what you want. So if you want a high value woman, if you want a high quality woman that's gonna be following your program, submitting to you and all these different types of things, don't you think that you have to have a life set up outside of her for her to come into, for her to see and view as valuable and be like, hmm, there's something about him that just learned me into him. Let me get to know him. Let me ask him something. Let me shoot him a DM. Let me like five of his pictures. Let me just follow him. Let me just put myself on his radar. Don't you think that you have to, like, what is your bait, bro? What is your bait? Your bait could be your physique. Your bait could be your social status. Your bait could be your, um, your car. It really don't matter. Your bait could be this type of social media that you post, the type of content that you post, what you talk about, anything. You have to figure out what's unique to you. You have to really deepen your own bag. Too many people just get caught up in then You're trying to do what this dude said. You're trying to do what that dude said. This and this and this. And you never really, you just focusing on what these people are saying. You're not applying what resonates with you. you thinking that you're supposed to soak up all this information and then you, everything just supposed to just download. No, bro. You have to... If when you're getting information from people, because me included, I'm not literally telling you word by word, piece by piece, that everything I'm saying is literal facts and I'm the only person that you need to listen to. I've never said that. What I tell you to do is soak up the information that resonates with you. Like, oh yeah, that makes sense. Resonates with you. Soak up that information. Do your own research. Do your own work. Do your own physical work. Do your own inner work and apply it. So in your own life, you got to figure out your strengths. You got to figure out your weaknesses. You got to figure out what makes you unique and stand out from other men. You got to make sure that you know that you on top of your seduction game. You know what I'm saying? That you on top of your game when it comes to these women. So you know that when she come into your life, it's going to be a life, life changing experience. It's going to be something that she's never, it's going to be something that she's never experienced before. You're going to be somebody that she's never dealt with before. This is the type of vibe that you want to give off. But you are the average man. You are weak. You stink. You don't take care of yourself internally or externally why on earth are you thinking about a woman bro 
Understand this. The best thing that you're going to realize and understand, bro, is that the better your life is, the more in order your life is, the earlier. You know what I'm saying? The earlier that you have everything for yourself in order, the better. Now, some of y'all might be in high school. You might have, you know what I'm saying? You might have you a school relationship or you might have, you know, you might have something going on. Whatever the case may be. Understand it like this, bro. You're young. So the focal point does not need to be on this woman, making her happy, maintaining a relationship, all this and this and this and this. All right? You don't need to be focused on all that. Your grind comes before all that. Your purpose comes before all that. Stop dealing with these women. Stop focusing on these women and it's taking away from your grind. Your whole mindset is where the women at? Where the hoes at? Why I ain't got this one? Why she don't like me? Why she ain't texting me back? Why she ain't like my picture? Why she doing this? Who she talking to? Stop all that, bro. It's complete BS. It's a waste of time. It's not going to get you nowhere. Women can be the, your downfall if you let them. Women can be the biggest distraction if you let them. But if you understand their purpose, if you understand their role in your life, if you have a life set up, things going to be so much more smooth. Understand this, bro. You're not supposed to wake up stressing about where the women at, why I ain't got this woman. You're not supposed to wake up thinking about all that. Or just better yet, in general, you're not supposed to just be thinking about all that. Because if you think about the women, if you think about how they don't want you, how on earth are you grinding? I've never seen nobody that just going, or I don't know nobody that go to the gym, work out, be on their grind, and, they, and all they're thinking about why they're grinding is why the women don't want you. It doesn't make any freaking sense. So you have to understand this, bro. You got to stop playing games. You got to stop being weak. You got to stop lacking accountability. The women are always going to be here. That's what you got to understand. The women are always going to be here. So when are you going to distance yourself from chasing them, from worrying about them, from putting them at the top of your priorities and realizing that, look, the women going to always be here, but I'm not going to always be 20 years old. I'm not going to always be 17 years old. I'm not going to always be on this. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to always be ahead of the game when it comes to just having access to the type of information. So let me apply the information and take control of my life as early and as fast as possible and become as consistent and efficient as possible. So when I get to dealing with these women, everything is easy. Or so when I'm actually starting to attract women, they on a higher level because I've improved in my own life. Most of y'all continuously attracting these same level of women, these same quality of women because you ain't doing no improvement in your life. You getting the same woman, she just in a different body. She playing games, she for the streets. All, all the women that you're dealing with. And it's like, you think there's something wrong with the women. You always blame the women, but it's like you, bro. It's both of y'all, really. It's But you gotta realize that <clears throat> everything starts with you. Everything starts with you. Everything starts with you. You don't have no control in your life, bro. A woman coming into that bit ain't gonna make no difference. It's gonna make it worse. If you're not on your grind, if you're not getting to the bag, if your mindset is not right, if your priorities is not in order, if you don't have principles and boundaries set up in your life before a woman enters it, what is fo fo focusing on her going to do? If she comes into your life, you're not going to know what to do. If she comes into your life, you're not going to know how to treat her because you are freaking sent right now. Are you thinking about, stressing about where the women at? That's sent behavior. That's needy behavior. Don't a woman want that, bro. You got to already know she coming. You got to already know she looking based on how you carry yourself based on the life that you live in. See the simp, the weak dude, the scared dude, a woman gonna be looking at him and he gonna be contemplating, oh, is she looking at me? He gonna be looking down. The confident man, the dude that's on his grind, the dude that already know what time it is, he gonna be like, yeah, she looking at me. And then he gonna go shoot a shot. There is no stress in, there is no contemplating. It's just brute force action. Because at the end of the day, regardless of all these excuses you make, the only thing that you gotta do is act. So when you take control of your own life, bro, and you really just do what you gotta do, where the women at, you're not even gonna have to ask that question because it's like, bro, you're gonna have to be trying to make time for the access to women that you got right now. You know what I'm saying? Because when the grind comes first, she gonna see you as valuable because you're a man of discipline. But when you only focused on her, how can she be attracted to you, bro? And you focused on her 24-7, 365. You trying to make sure that she happy all this 24-7, 365. You just simped out, needy, right there. No type of value, bro. It's not your job to train her to make her happy, to force her to be loyal. All, not, it's not your job to do none of that, bro. It's your job to focus on your grind. It's your job to keep your priorities in order. It's your job to put your purpose above her, these types of things. 
I'm not telling you to be disrespectful. I'm not telling you to do none of that. This is literally how the game go. This is how she gonna respect you. No woman on the planet respect the man that put her way up here above his purpose. They get to dealing with her. He fall off. He get ugly. He get sloppy. He get broke. None of that, bro. You have to have everything in your life in order or be in the progress in the and you know what I'm saying? In the current status of getting your life in order. So when she comes into your life, everything is smooth. She sees the value. So she only wants to add to the value. She doesn't want to take away from the value because she don't want to lose you. When you get to that point where women are literally doing everything that you want them to, that's when you know that you're a valuable person because she doesn't want to sabotage what y'all got going on. Why? Because she sees that you are one of a kind. So she's willing to do everything in her power to deal with you, to stay with you, to make sure that you happy. You see what I'm saying? So now it's like when you understand the game and when you get this type of when you get this type of treatment from the woman, bro, the vibe is gonna be just how you want it to be. Because when you ain't simped out, now the attraction level actually stays high. When you still on your grind, she still stays attracted to you. You still get her dripping down there. But if you simped out, focused on her all day, blowing her phone up, sending all these paragraphs. You an insecure simp, always worried about what she doing, always trying to control her, tell her who she can and can't talk to, what she can and can't wear, where she can and can't go. All this dumb BS. She gonna lose attraction to you. She gonna start manipulating you. She gonna start cheating on you. You see what I'm saying? It's not gonna be what you want. You have to look in the mirror and realize that through the grind, through the inner work, through the physical work, you see what I'm saying? Through me getting my bag right, through me getting my mind right, through me understanding female nature, when these women come into my life, it's gonna be a breeze. That since I've dealt with these low caliber women, or I've dealt with women when I was a simp, I seen how I was treated. But now it's like that I've understand that I understand the game and that I've improved in my own life. I'm dealing with the new caliber of women. Female nature is still present, but this is still a different caliber of women. Now I'm seeing these women for who they are. So now it's like, I understand my value. They see my value. Now I get to pick who I want. And I'm not even necessarily saying that you're gonna have like 30 women to choose from, but I'm just saying that you're gonna understand the game better. So you're gonna easily see who is definitely not a candidate to be on your team or to be your one. You see what I'm saying? But you also gonna know exactly what you want in a woman. You're gonna know exactly what you want her to do for you. So everything is gonna start when you take control of your life. The longer you stay average, the longer you stay broke, the longer you stay fat, the longer you keep making excuses, the harder it's going to be for you to get a woman. But when you finally wake up and take control of your own life, bro, the last thing you're going to have to worry about is a woman. So what you going to do? If you enjoyed this video, make sure you drop a like down below. Comment some future suggestions. Subscribe. And I'm out.